hey if you were looking for how to build a DeFi application on your mobile well you've come at the right place because today i'm going to show you how to build a full stack ethereum react native dap on your mobile so that you can connect to the ethereum network you can execute transactions you can execute um, contract events you can watch contracts or user addresses balances prices of each token in the wallet and all sorts of other features so i have my phone out already so i can show you how it all works and uh, let's start with a demo shall we this is working on a handheld device right now and not a simulator so let me just show you the features and the functionalities that we have in this app so we have a login feature with wallet connect here so if you click on the button of login you will see all the options of wallets that you can use to log in your user let's choose trust wallet here connect the application and then confirm the signature here we can essentially get balances of all the assets of this particular address but the magic is you can get all the balances across all chains as you can see we have ethereum binance and polygon right here for this particular wallet but if it has arbitrum avalanche or even phantom you get the balances right away you have the prices that are synced in real time as well as you have the native balances of each chain as you can see if you click on the address it copies the address and you can use it anywhere else and then we have a transaction screen where we can see all the ERC20 transactions of this particular address and then if you click on any of these you can see all the details right away if you click on the transaction hash it will lead you to etherscan and also you can copy the token address if you want native transactions it can be done exactly the same way with just a different hook now if you go to the transfer screen you can actually click on any of these assets that you would like to transfer uh, input address and also the amount and once you do that you can click on transfer and the function gets executed next we have a logout button and once you log out you come out of the application and you start all over again in fact we are going to push a new screen called the nft screen where we will have details of all the nfts of this particular user so stay tuned for that these are awesome out of the box solutions however this just scratches the surface the secret sauce to this application is the morales element since we connected morales to our application we get to work with so many other features just go ahead use this boilerplate and get yourself started i will show you how to do that step by step right away before that, let me show you the awesome things that you can actually do with Morales. With Morales, you can have built-in smart contract event tracking, as you can see over here. And, and this will allow you to track all those juicy DeFi transactions. And this is across Binance, Ethereum, Phantom, Polygon, Arbitrum, and Avalanche chains. We have a built-in wallet tracker where we sync and watch addresses in real time we can create triggers for every possible condition for example triggering a function when an nft gets sold of a particular value and at a particular time and of a particular address etc and etc we can have uh, jobs for running long running functions we can have live queries for real time alerts and uh, since it's integrated with the webhooks you can literally get real time notifications of your dap we even have email authentication in fact your imagination is limit you can do all sorts of things with morales and i would highly highly encourage you to download this boilerplate get yourself started and also play around with morales it basically replaces your backend you don't need to worry about the infrastructure it's all being taken care of all you have to worry is about the ui the front end and all the nice functionality and the features that you would like your users to have so now let's see how the code works and let's see how to get this thing started so let's just uh, go through this github repository and see what all we have we have some basic steps that are laid down over here and the technology is used in this application to make it work and also we have a quick start section where it just gives you four or five steps to get yourself started right away so let's clone this 
repository. This is basically a boilerplate for you to get started. The feature list is endless, essentially. So let's get started with this boilerplate. Let's paste it over here. We're cloning this boilerplate. We have it cloned. Let's go and open this folder. Once we do that, we have the entire repo over here. So based on the quick steps, we have to first install Expo CLI, which I have done already, so I wouldn't do that again. So go ahead and replace the example env file with the env file and provide the application ID and the server URL in the properties. Now, where do you get these two values? You get this on the Morales dashboard once you sign up. It's a free sign in. You can just create your account and uh, get these details. Let me show you. In fact, this is what your dashboard will look like. And if you click on view details of this particular server, you can see there's a server URL and the application ID. All you have to do is just copy these and paste it in your env file. Let's do that right now. Let's go to env example. Let's write our application ID here. Oops, that's the server URL. Application ID here and the server URL here. And let's rename this to .env. You can use these other details once you want to dive into the advanced version of it. But right now, only these two details are enough. Now let's go and check the next step. Over here, it is asking to install all the dependencies. So since we are already in the folder, so we don't have to write this. So let's just do yarn install first. Let's go here, yarn install. This will take a little while, so let's just wait for it to finish. After all your node modules have been downloaded, we can go and check the next step. For running on iOS, we have to run or rather type yarn iOS. So let's do that and see what happens. Now this will automatically run the simulator in your machine. For this to work, make sure to download the Xcode while you're at it and all the developer tools that is necessary for running the simulator. So the simulator has begun, but it is building the app in the background. It has started the server. And the application has started. And you see the same exact uh, feature over here. Now let's see what we have um, in the code. We have certain components that we can use right out of the box. And we have hooks that we can also use directly in our components. So to build these components, we use some of these hooks. But you can obviously start using any of these hooks and create your own components and uh, start building out from there. So if you see in the code, we have our front end folder over here with all the components in the component folder and all the hooks in the hooks folder. So you can even get NFT transfers for a particular address, their balances, the transactions that have occurred natively on the chain, any chain, Ethereum, Binance, Phantom, you name it, uh, ERC20 transfers and URC20 balances. We will be adding even more hooks as we go along so that it becomes easier for you to develop. As you can see in the application, it starts out with a simple navigation system. We have used React Navigation in this application. And once that is set up, we have our splash screen, our authentication screen, and then our main app navigator. And this app navigator is then divided into certain screens using the below tab bar and then you can move around and do whatever you'd like. So you can keep adding extra screens. You can remove the ones that are already here and add your own. A quick tip for you when you're starting to develop, you do not want to always log in into your wallet. You would like to skip the authentication part. 
So for that, we can go ahead in the crypto auth component. And over here, if you can replace this entire thing with just the navigation replace, oops, if you just do this, um, we can skip authentication entirely. But then what address will it use? For that, you will have to provide um, the address, the default address over here, wallet address. So this wallet address comes from Wallet Connect, but for testing purposes, for your development uh, cycle to be shorter, you can just replace this with a hard-coded address and then start using the application for building. So that's what I actually did while showing you this demo because I do not want my wallet to be authenticated to show you the assets. I just wanted a demo wallet to be shown. So I replaced this variable over here with a random address and that's how you saw the assets in the initial part of the video. And that's about it. Um, you can start using these hooks. We have some helpers over here for formatting different types of decimals and uh, values, token values. We have network configurations over here that is easy for you to find. Let's check one of the components and see how it all works. Let's see components assets assets.js over here if you can see we have a basic text and then we have native balance we just push in the chain id over here and it spits out the native balance in this case ethereum balance of that wallet then we say erc20 balance of ethereum then native balance of binance and then we say ERC20 balance of Binance here as well. And similarly for Polygon, the Polygon chain ID and the ERC20 balance of Polygon. So it is very simple. You just have to push in these values and you get a list of all the ERC20 tokens you have in those respective networks. So I would highly encourage you to try these out, build your own decentralized applications on react native and on your phones both cross platform cross network and uh, enjoy your building process that's it from me today thank you for watching have a nice one